The Florida Keys, an iconic tropical island chain just off the southern tip of Florida, famous for its fantastic weather year-round, diverse wildlife and marine life, and also the destination of our family bubbles. trip this past We wanted to live that island life for a week, filled with the beach, sun, cold drinks, scuba diving, and everything in between. And we found it here, in the Florida Keys. Our plan was to fly into Miami, then drive straight down to Key West for a few days before heading back up toward Isa Morata to hang out for the end of the trip. Day two here in Key West, and today the plan is to go do some diving. We headed down to the harbor in town to find our dive boat to go scuba diving. The boat ride to the dive site was about 40 minutes from Key West. We dove at a site called Dry Rocks, which was a shallow 30-foot dive around a massive coral reef in the shape of a star, where we got to explore each finger of the reef. Finding tropical fish swimming by, seemingly undisturbed by our presence, was fantastic. The water was so warm, and it's such a great way to start a trip. Afterwards, we spent a lot of time hanging out in Key West's infamous Duval Street, known for its tourist hotspots, for great restaurants, and endless opportunities to find a drink at dozens of bars. The key lime pies were delicious, the rum was amazing, and of course the live music was unforgettable. We even rented a golf cart one day to explore the town just like the local scene would do, but mainly it was just to find the best key lime pie. After our time in Key West had to come to an end, we headed east, back on Highway 1 toward Isa Morada, but made a pit stop on the Bahia Honda State Park to hang out and beached all day. And even though it was scorchingly hot, it was awesome just hanging out in the water all day. Once we arrived at Isa Morada, we realized this piece of tropical paradise was way more of our speed. We stayed on the bay side of an island at the Hollow Beach Resort. This place is fantastic. We're right on the bay. Comes with kayaks, I think bikes, I don't know. And uh, yeah, so it's in the morning. We're just gonna go out touring around. Courtney's parents are over there. And it's uh, oh, just another beautiful day. Fingers crossed, hopefully we're gonna go diving today. Another incredible day in the sun here in Florida. Next up was the best part of the trip, getting to go scuba diving with nurse sharks. Heading out in another boat across the crystal blue waters to get to the dive site called Paradise. Famous for its amphitheater made from coral, where you can view countless species of fish that all surround a sandy bottom. It was truly unforgettable for how many fish that we got to see and how casually they didn't care that we were swimming up around them realistically getting to see the sharks over and over again swimming around us or us being able to swim up to them it, it is unmatched so far in my diving
Surprisingly enough, the closest we got to wildlife was actually back at the resort when a manatee came up to the dock and was drinking fresh water from the hose pouring into the ocean. It was incredible to see how such a big animal could be so docile. They really are the cows of the sea. Of course, some of the best parts of any trip are going out for beers and dinner, especially when the restaurants here are right on the water with perfect unforgettable views of the sunsets. Our trip to the Florida Keys unfortunately had to come to an end, but not before one last experience of a lifetime. We all got to go parasailing for the very first time. Admittedly, I did not think this was going to be nearly as fun as it ended up being. Unforgettable trip to the Florida Keys, and we really can't wait to go back. <laughs>